One by one Russian tanks exploded in ATGM missile fire by Ukrainian forces. The new commander of the Russian troops, Sergei Surovikin, acknowledged the military situation in Kherson was tense. Ukrainian forces struck the Russian tank with an anti-tank guided missile ATGM that triggered a fiery explosion. The footage captured from miles away shows an isolated tank in the middle of a field. But the seemingly quiet scene was disrupted by the sheer power of the ATGM which hit the heavy vehicle. The Blue Sauron Twitter user, who has been providing coverage of the military conflict since the start of the war in Ukraine, said, catastrophic explosion of a Russian tank after being hit with an ATGM delivered by the Ukrainian 72nd Mechanized Brigade. Russian forces have suffered a military setback in the southern Ukrainian region of Kherson. The new commander of the Russian troops, Sergei Surovikin, acknowledged that the military situation was complicated. The situation in the area of the special military operation can be described as tense, he told the state-owned Rossiya 24 television news channel in an interview. The enemy continually attempts to attack the positions of Russian troops. First of all, this concerns the Kupiansk, Lyman, and Mikolaev Krivy RIH sectors. Ukraine has also come under heavy Russian attack, with a fresh wave of explosions hitting several cities. The Russian troops have targeted energy facilities, destroying a third of power station and causing nationwide blackouts, Ukrainian President Zelensky said. In response to the threat of blackouts, Kiev's mayor, Vitaly Klitschko, has appealed to residents to try and conserve electricity. Two people have been reportedly killed and another wounded following the attack on the Kiev's energy facility, prompting Kiev's prosecutor's office to open an investigation into a possible violation of the laws and customs of war. It remains unclear how long Russian forces will be able to keep up attacks on Ukrainian cities as their missile supplies are feared to be running out. The Russian defense industry cannot produce enough new missiles and the ones they went to war with on February 24th are already running out, Brig General Kirill Obudinov, the head of Ukraine's defense intelligence agency, said in remarks distributed by the Ukraine's defense intelligence agency. For many items, this figure has already fallen below the critical level. I mean the level of 30%, he added. He also predicted significant victories for Kiev by the end of the year, forecasting the war should be over by the end of next summer with troops set to retake the whole of Ukraine, including the Crimean Peninsula lost to Russia in 2014. In an apparent admission of heavy losses and poor logistics on the battlefield, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said Putin's troops work in conditions that can hardly be called human. They face constant problems, threats of physical attacks, he said. He added there is no point in maintaining the country's current level of diplomatic presence in the West, claiming Europe decided to close itself from us and stop any economic cooperation. You can't be forced to be nice, Mr. Lavrov added. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kiev mayor and ex-boxing heavyweight champion Vitaly Klitschko confirmed an explosion had been reported in the center of the Ukrainian capital. At least three explosions have hit the center of Kiev as Vladimir Putin's troops continue with their aerial onslaught against the Ukrainian capital. Blasts were heard in the city's Shevchenkivsky district on Monday morning. The explosions reportedly occurred at around 7 o'clock a.m. local time, 5 o'clock a.m. Greenwich Mean Time. Clips on social media appear to show one explosion taking place near Kiev's railway station. According to The Guardian, Ukraine State Railway Chief Alexander Kamishin also revealed that the shelling struck near Kiev's central station. 
Shift Jankiewski was previously hit by explosions on October 10th. Responding to reports of explosions, Kiev Mayor Vitaly Klitschko said the explosion in the Shevchenkiv district in the center of the capital. All services follow in place. Details later. The air alert continues. Stay in shelters. Klitschko, who lost to British-born Orthodox Lennox Lewis during his boxing career in 2003, added, as a result of the drone attack, a fire broke out in a non-residential building in the Shevchenkiv district of Kiev. Fire departments are working. Several residential buildings were damaged. Medics are on the spot. We are clarifying the information about the victims. Andriy Yermak, head of President Volodymyr Zelensky's office, added, We need more air defense systems and as soon as possible. We have no time for slow actions. Rick it! 